Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy from the sea, the ATL Don, checking in, and you're watching Fitted Fiend. Cause my sweat turned off right now. Get friend loose, going to turn off. Talkin' that talk, but it ain't about much. Hey, no nuts, cause the sweat turned off. This week on Fitted Fiend, we have pickups from the Atlanta Braves Clubhouse store and the Rome Braves Trading Post store. With no further ado, let's get into this. All right, this is a pretty huge haul. We're not going to do close-ups at the end like we normally do because we got a lot of fitteds. A lot of them are the same. Uh, I'll explain why here in a moment. Uh, for those that do not know, the Rome Braves announced probably less than two months ago, maybe, that they were changing names. For those that don't know, the Atlanta Braves used to be one of the few teams that owned their minor league affiliates, but a couple years ago they sold off their minor league affiliates. So... Um, the Rome Braves announced they're going to be changing their name, kind of like how the Gwinnett Braves changed to the Gwinnett Stripers. I'm not a fan of them doing the name change, but it is what it is. I was told from an inside source from the Braves that the reasoning behind it is the new owners have to pay a licensing fee to use the Braves name, so they want to get away from that. You can understand from a business aspect, but um, from a fan aspect, you know, I think me and a lot of others would like to see it remain the Rome Braves because you much rather say you're going to a Braves game than some team you never heard of. Uh, maybe it's just me. So anyways, uh, back when the Gwinnett Braves were moving here from Richmond, I procrastinated too long, and the Richmond Braves fit as I wanted were sold out of my size by the time I finally pulled the trigger to um, get them. So I wanted to make sure that did not happen to me this time. And I have... Um, issues with China made slash Bangladesh made hats um, and so some of the ones I had in my 734s were Bangladesh made so I wanted to get 778s just to, I, I wanted to basically just stock up as many Rome Braves hats as I could to keep on ice because once they're gone they're gone you know, well, I'm sure that later down the road you know these other stores like Hat Club and other places will retro them because I was able to get the Richmond Braves um, retro through um, Hat Club. I was able to get the, the Greenville Braves retro through uh, Birding Chicago. And actually, uh, Hat, Hat Club actually just recently did the red alternate version of the Green, Greenville Braves. So I was able to add those that way. I do have some vintage um, Richmond Braves, ones that, I've, um, that I got from individuals on eBay. But this is all going to be Atlanta Braves slash Rome Braves. Uh, there is a couple pickups that actually for, are from last year, no lie. I, I kept pushing it to the back burner. I'll save that stuff for last. We'll do this. We'll do the most recent ones now. Uh, before we get into showing all the pickups, make sure you go join our Facebook Fitted group, also called Fitted Fiend, New Era 5950 Community. Links in the description or go to fittedfiend.com to help you find it easier. 2,200 members strong. Thanks for the love and support. You can post your fitters today. Buy, sell, trade. Help assist members get fitters that may not be available in the area. Make sure you smash that thanks button to donate to the channel. Every little bit helps. All right. I don't even know where to start. Okay, I guess I'll do this one first. So this is the Rome Braves. So you got the logo on the bag. So I have you know, all the different versions of the Rome Braves hats, but this one in my 734s was Bangladesh made, so I wanted to get 778s seven, made. I'm sorry, 778s seven, size, I meant. Um, just to have on ice and stuff. I know I'm not going to wear this, this particular one that, that often, but I wanted to make sure I had it. So, pick these up at my... Actually, I think the last game I attended. And I picked up a shirt that was on clearance. Alright, so this is their alternate hat that they would wear on the road. It looks like their home hat with the exception of the the bills gray and the buttons gray. And the home version of the hat's red button, red bill, like the traditional Atlanta Brace colorway. So, got the navy dome, got the Rome logo done in white, gray, red, navy. You know, so exact same logo as their home version. White New Era flag. Got the MILB Batterman logo done in red, white, and navy. It is on field, so there's no side patch. Black UV. Black sweatband, 778's New Era. Um, minor League tagging. This is Bangladesh made, so I wanted to double up on these. I went through the whole stack and found the two that fit me the best. Then this was also their 20th season in Rome, because they moved from, from the Macon Braves to the Rome Braves. So I already had this shirt. Uh, they had.
had this marked down to 10 bucks, so I went ahead and got a second one. So red's my favorite color. So I got that to keep on ice. All right, so that was the first pickup. I had to pay full retail on these hats. Then, um, for those uh, for those that don't know, I've been uh, dealing with cancer the last two years. So my oncologist is actually right down the street from the Rome Braves. So I swung by there to get. Um, I wanted I wanted to to get a few more hats, and luckily when I pulled up and sat on the door of their because um, th um, their team store is called the Trading Post, it said all hats twenty dollars. I'm like, damn! I I spent full retail on these on those ones I just showed you, but it is what it is. So I end up snatching up some more since they were twenty each. I'll show you all the items I got. All right, so I got their alternate hat. I used to dislike this logo. I always called it the Marvin the Martian logo. That's what it remind me of. But over the years, it has grown on me. It is done in that um, hex tech uh, uh, diamond era type of uh, material like the BP hats are made out of. But uh, there's really no rhyme or reason to what jersey they would wear this with. They, they, they would switch it up with the white jersey, the red jersey. They have a navy jersey. They got a gray jersey. So... Uh, there wasn't wasn't no real real pattern of what jerseys they would wear this with. So once again, it's in that hex text diamond era material, all red dome, navy bill, navy button, has the um, Roman logo done in the red, navy, gray, and white. New era flag done in navy. The MILB Batterman logo done in red, white, and navy. Black UV. Black sweatband. And these were China made, so seven seven eight. So I went ahead and went and wanted to size up just to have these on ice. I do wear seven three fourths in China typically, but I just wanted to have these for a rainy day in case I have a head size change later down the road. And plus, for twenty bucks, I couldn't beat it. All right, so I did a double up and got another one just like it. Then I got the home version, which is the one I had the most of. So these were actually Bangladesh made, but I have some China made, and I have some USA made ones as well. So I got this, the 778s, look just like the first one we showed in the beginning of the video. But this is the home version with the red bill, red button, navy dome, red, white, uh, navy, and the grayish color on the Rome logo, with the white new era flag, MILB Batterman logo once again, and red, white, and navy. Black sweatband, black UV, 778s, new era, and authentic minor league collection. So I doubled up on that one. I'm pretty sure both of these were, yeah, both of those are Bangladesh made and the both were 778s. This hat I passed up on because I'm not one of those people who really, really rock pink. And, uh, but for 20 bucks, and they had uh, 778s left. This was a Mother's Day hat, so it's kind of like a like an off white, like a creamish, uh, like a cream color. So they wore this um, for only the one game for Mother's Day. So it's got the alternate, like I said, the Marvin the Martian logo, aka the Roman logo. So it's got light pink, uh, light gray, dark gray, and white. Very nice. It's got the New Era flag done in the light pink. It's got the flat MILB Batterman logo done in the light pink and dark gray. And it's got the pink UV. I'm not sure which jerseys they wore these with. Then uh, 778s, New Era, minor league tagging. And this was also Bangladesh made, so that's why I did 778s in all those. A couple other little goodies I got. They had this banner marked down to five bucks to commemorate the 20th season in Rome, so I went ahead and added that. Then. They wore that same logo on their jerseys on the sleeves, so they had this marked down to five bucks. So it's the same patch they wore on the sleeves. Then they had uh, the same logo again, done the decals for a dollar each. So I figured, what the hell? All right, so that's my two pickups from Rome, and the rest of them are all going to be from the Atlanta Braves clubhouse store. Let's see. 
All right, so I stopped by there. Sometimes they, they'll have their minor league affiliate hats there. So I was hoping they would have some Mississippi hats because I, I wanted to, you know, to try some on uh, and see if they were China or Bangladesh made and um, put some seven seven eights on ice. Uh, just FYI, the Mississippi Braves are supposed to be changing their name also after next season. So you might want to stock, stock up on their um, gear now while you can. So I go to the Atlanta Braves Clubhouse store, and they had all the same hats that I bought for 20 at the Rome Braves Trading Post store for 15 at the Clubhouse store. I'm like, damn it, if I would have waited. But it is what it is. Once again, I couldn't pass up the price, so I, I went ahead and stocked up. But there were some really sweet finds in it, too, though. Uh, I did get two uh, Gwinnett Striper hats that were marked down to 20. I got them in seven seven eights, but these are actually USA made, which is a rare find these days. So all navy, it's got their home logo done in like the lime green, navy, white, red. I think that's all the colors. It's got the uh, new era flag done in the lime green color. The MILB Batterman logo is done in the that greenish lime green, white and navy, black UV, black sweatband, 778 New Era, minor league tagging, both the USA made. So I was happy about that. I found this that we showed in the beginning of the video, but this one was China made. And I got this one at 73 fourths, and it was marked down to 15. So we already went over the details of this hat, so we don't need to go over that again. This I was happy to score. They had the Rome Brace home hat, USA made, gray UV, old style, non-gold foil size sticker. It is USA made for 15. So I couldn't pass that up. I did get seven seven eights. Very nice. Once again, this has the gray UV, white sweatband, USA made. So I tripled up on these on this one. I, this is like like my favorite one of the Rome Braves. These two had an even different um, New Era sticker from what you're used to seeing on it. It's not even designed like the gold foil sticker. Like this looks like the gold foil sticker. It's just not done in the, the, the gold foil. But this is completely designed different. But uh, th both of these were also USA made. So 15 each for those. Then I got two more of their alternate ones that we showed in the previous video. I meant what I showed um, earlier in the video, sorry. Um, so these were also China made in 778s, but 15 bucks each. So I stocked up, got some more of those to keep on ice. So we scored two, four, six, eight hats in that pickup. Five in the pickup before that. And two in the pickup before that. So that's 15 fitted so far. All right, so the rest of this is going to be pickups from the, the Atlanta Brace Clubhouse store, but these are from last year. All right, so this was actually from the weekend, which is actually about to um, come up again. I think on September 28th, I plan going to. So they. Had this, this looks like the 74 style Braves hat, but with the B on it instead of the small A. So I wish I would have known um, to go a size up when I was having the China and Bangladesh made issues, but this was the best fitting 734 that they had of this one. So it looks just like the 74 style Braves hat, but it has the, um, the capital B off the Braves um, jersey word mark. Then the red, white, and blue. Got the two white front panels. The rest of the panels are all royal blue. White New Era flag. A little bit different. It has the Braves jersey script on, across the back. Done in red, white, and blue. Nothing on the other side. Green UV. Black sweatband. 734 New Era Cooperstown tagging. And it is Bangladesh made. Then I got this other sugar skull. It's done in the baby blue to resemble like the early 80s Braves. Then it has the Sugar Skull logo showing the, wearing the royal blue hat like they would have worn in the early 80s. 
um, so many different colors on it. It's it's hard to name them all, but uh, very nice. It's got the newer flag done in the royal blue on the left. The MLB Batterman logo is done in royal blue, white, and light blue. Very nice. Nothing on the other side. Gray UV, 734 fourths New Era, genuine merchandise tagging. Unfortunately, it is Bangladesh made. I'm hoping they'll have this one to release again when I go to the Los Bravos um, game. They had some uh, World Series shirts marked down, really cheap. I don't remember exactly how much I paid, but I got all these below retail, size XL. They had a pop-up uh, store. They had all this stuff heavily discounted. Yeah, this was five bucks. So that's one good thing. If if you can be patient and wait, they usually have a surplus of this stuff, and they mark it down drastically a couple weeks after the event happens. All right, this is also from last, This is I think I got this back in December of last year. I wanted to have one of the new, newer style uh, red version of the Braves jerseys because um, they made some, um, some changes um, um, to it when they started using Nike. So this is my first authentic on-field Nike game used jersey. So red is my favorite color. So, yeah. The Braves were marking navy and white, double tackle twill. It's got the Nike logo done on white twill. It's got the navy piping. Once again, it is game used. It's got all the authentication numbers and stuff. Size 48. I got their first base coach, Eric Young Sr. His son, Eric Young Jr., played one season with the Braves. Eric Young um Eric Young Sr. has been the Braves' first base coach for quite a while now. So I like how it has Young, then the number two. makes me think of Post Malone's song uh, to, uh, uh, where he says, I don't want to die too young. So happy to get that. So, oh, I forgot it has the 100th anniversary sleeve patch on the left. It would have had um, the All-Star one on, on this sleeve, but they took the All-Star game away from us. So, uh it, they only had it for the first few games of the season before that had happened. So that's my haul from both the Atlanta Braves Clubhouse store and the Roman Braves Trading Post. Comment down below. Let me know what all you liked. Let me know what you think about the Roman Braves changing their name. Uh, don't forget to go join our Facebook Fitted group, also called Fittifine, the New Era 5950 community. Links in the description. Or go to fittifine.com. Smash that thanks button. Donate, donate to the channel. Give a big thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. And until next time, it's your boy from the C, the ATL Don, signing out. Peace. I can rock it to the left. I can rock it to the right. I can rock it to the back. Either way, it's looking tight. She like. Come on, baby, give me that. You're looking good in that fitted I got all colors, all teams, all crisp, all mean. Cocked up a with a lean, brand new. Now I mean, so fresh, so clean. Got to rock the ice cream, flood the mess with a guest. Now you see that ice gleam, white stitch. See the seam, Celtics, white and green. Come through with white and blue. Yankees, the magic jeans.